He's been called a true son of Michigan State, but today the George Perlis era comes to a close. Joe Paterno spent 45 years in Happy Valley. Today his Lions try to cap another perfect regular season. And two of his offensive stars have another chance to shine for all the world and the Heisman voters to see. State signal call. Here's his first throw on third and six. Van opening the flat with a great one-handed catch by Green. Dives ahead for the first down. From the transfer, he says sometimes he doesn't even have enough time to study film and isn't quite sure what he's studying when he does. Scott Green. And that's why they run him at tailback. He gives him a big back option, but he's got excellent speed and he rumbles for 18 at the 32-yard line of Penn State. Here comes a blitz from the corner. Banks stands in, fires, got his man. It's going to be a touchdown. Derek Mason, 32 yards. We talked about the problems Penn State had in the secondary. The free safety took a very bad angle on that squaring route. Cost them seven points. From midfield after the nice punt return by Archie. Nice play fake by Collins. Got some pressure fires wide open into Flats. Brady is tight end. And the All-American works his way down to the 10. They're second and goal at the seven-yard line. The John Carter is going to score. And the running for the Counter with Archie. Archie, a little different kind of runner. Gives you a little more of that. And he takes it out to the 45-yard line. 12 lines, first down from their own 45. And it's Archie wants to throw an option. Airs it out for Ingram. He got it. And Ingram's going to score. Touchdown. Nice kick. Mason, a yard deep, will bring it. And he got a crease. Derek Mason outside. Derek Mason. He might go. Derek Mason, 100 yards, touchdown. Holy cow. Well, they did it faster than Penn State on that one. That only took about 12 seconds. <laughs> We're tied at 14. Collins on play action. He got hammered as he threw, but he got it to Freddie Scott on a crossing pattern. And Scott's out to the 31 yard. Here's the counter to Kajana Carter. Carter down to the 12. Bobby Ingram in motion. Ingram gets it wide out screen. Trying to weave to the end zone. And he got all the way to the one. Minute into the second quarter. Like first and goal. Like good goal. For the touchdown. Brian Mill Reed in their dual backfield. Third and three. Dozier. I don't think so. And now we might have a big decision coming up. It's fourth, and I would say a couple of feet. Down at about two feet. Goldberg, fumble! Picked up by Willie Smith. And now the offense has it back. First down for the 20. And Collins comes up fire to Bobby Ingram. And he ripped off the touchdown. To John Carter with a cutback to the middle. To John Carter to the 33-yard line. Ike, 9 of 11. He's best, he's 39. On the way. Got a lot of leg in. with Chris Solani to hold. And he's got it up and good. With 20 seconds, George Perlis has two more quarters to coach 
the Spartans of Michigan State. He's coached them a pretty good first half, that's for sure. But Joe Paterno's troops will head to the locker room, number two in the land, and up by seven, 24-17. Opening March, third quarter. On second down, a counter to John Carter. Well, they didn't stop it here. And they may not stop him at all. Knocked out of bounds, but not before he got down to the 30-yard line. Archie in to give Carter a breather. So they give it to Milne, the fullback. Brian Milne to the one. Ball Kingsman in at the fullback now with John Carter getting the call for the touchdown. His 20th of the year the Penn State. They fake the draw. Banks comes up and rifles. Another one is going to set the nose drop. Brian Miller had it and lost it. Setbacks for this part, but they'll come up throwing. And it's Green. He'll score. He's done it all. Scott Green, touchdown, Michigan State. With his own 27-yard line. Collins on play action. Deep middle, Freddie Scott. Got it. Slides out for the 48 from midfield. Delayed blitz coming on Collins. Double pumps and rifles it, completes it to Ingram. First down at the 34 yard line. To John Carter. Cuts inside the five, he's down to the three, maybe even the two. See if it's match point from the three. Yep. Touchdown to John Carter, his third of the day. Michigan State, big stop here. They can force a punt, get the ball back, trailing by two touchdowns. But they go right back to Freddie Scott, and this one he holds on to to the 29. Wow. Yeah. What to do with it when they got inside the 20 today. At the 19, first down. To John Carter. All the way to the one. Got a chance for his fourth touchdown of the day. Yeah. He's in. his career high that he set against Ohio State. 22 at Penn State. They'll blitz Banks. He got around it again. Now nowhere to hide. He got away again. And down goes the ball. Jeff Perry covered it. Penn State offense at the 44 yard line. Collins off play action. He wants a home run ball. Going long. Man out there. He's got it. Freddie Scott. Touchdown. <laughs> Two to the near side. And Carter to the top of your screen. Here comes a blitz from Willie Smith. the running backs we talked about Kajana Carter that that was 18 touchdowns coming into today 22 now and Rashawn Salam sitting out there in Boulder going I don't think anybody can catch my 20 my 2055 well they got five minutes left you know <laughs> you never know well it averages dipped to 7.3 now for Kajana the big stop for no game the last time he carried it he'll try it again on top Unblemished, unbeaten, untied, and 
for the seventh time unbeaten and untied under Joe Pop. It's over. And it's over for Coach Furrow. Two good friends. Joe Paterno says, I'm going to miss George Furless in the Big Ten. He said Michigan State will miss him too because he'll be much harder to replace than they can possibly imagine. For Joe Paterno, a perfect 11-0 and heading to Pasadena. 59-31 the final from State College for Gary.